little more than that, though. Before arriving in Connecticut, Mr. Bush added a stop in Hartford to his itinerary. And the president delivered a speech at the Northwest Boys and Girls Club to promote Malaria Awareness Day. Foxy Jones' Frank Recchia was there. Saying that the Boys and Girls Club, like him, was born in Connecticut, the president began the address with a kiss as members of the Hartford Boys and Girls Club looked on. America is fully committed to this mission of mercy. The mission of mercy, a $1.2 billion effort to fight malaria in Africa. And nowhere is the president's popularity stronger than in Africa, where more than a million people a year die from malaria and where many countries work hard to get the president's attention. The people of Africa are most grateful to the American citizens for their help. The Bush plan calls for reducing the number of malaria deaths in Africa by half over a five-year period. It's an ambitious goal. But the program is off to a very strong start. To honor the people helping the effort, Dragonfly Awards, named after the natural enemy of the mosquito. The second Dragonfly Award winner is Zachary Ellen Thaw, who happens to be from Connecticut. A 13-year-old eighth grader from Middlebrook School in Wilton, who raised more than $11,000 for the effort. It's amazing. He's such a friendly guy. It's, it's awesome. Flanked by Melinda Doolittle of American Idol fame, Bush linked the fight to the fight against terrorism. From experience... We understand that the terrorists and extremists can only find fertile recruiting grounds where they find hopelessness. Calling the members of the Hartford Boys and Girls Clubs living examples of hope, Bush urged all of Connecticut to join the fight against malaria. In Hartford, Frank Recchia, Fox 61 News at 10. President Bush has set up fightingmalaria.gov with more information on the cause. You can visit the website by heading over to the news links of you know where, fox61.com. Well,